Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna learn how to do this type of stuff in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start. First of all, you are going to wanna make a background. So grab your rectangle tool and make a big rectangle to cover your whole artboard. You can press I on your keyboard for the eyedropper tool. If you like me have a color palette here that you wanna use and just click the color you want. You can press Command-2 to, to lock your background layer so you can't move it around and it won't bother you. Now, let's go to the text. Grab your type tool and write the word or the words you want to use. I'll just go with fall. <coughs> Make it bigger you can press and hold shift to scale it maintaining the proportions you can click here on the character panel to adjust how close the letters are with each other i'm gonna go with something like this okay and i'll change color so that i can see it better and with this dark background that i chose um, you now want to go to Object Expand. Okay. Then grab your Rectangle tool and make a rectangle. Has to be the height of the text, not so much bigger. Like this. You then want to divide your rectangle into four sections or six, how, how many you want. Usually I go with an even number and never I've never done it with above eight because they're gonna be too thin. But if you have a really tall text, then I guess eight would work as well. So you wanna go, you wanna go to object path and um, split into grid let's go with six as i said you can go with eight you can go with whatever number you want depending on how high your text is click okay so now it divided us our rectangle into these six equal parts you're going to now select your text and your background as well and you are going to go to the pathfinder here and click on divide now it'll cut it did cut your text into all these little shapes you can now go to the shape builder tool and we want to delete these parts of the text I mean, aren't actually the, the text, they're just blank space. We don't want that anymore. We just want our letters to be divided into these cubes. So hold down um, the op option or alt key, click and drag to delete shapes like this. You want to delete. If you make a mistake like I did, command Z to go back. Okay. All right, <clears throat> we're done here. Make sure you ungroup everything. When you don't have this highlighted anymore, it means that everything is already ungrouped. You're going to select the first row. You're gonna leave the second as it is and select the third leave the fourth and select the fifth you can select these by keep keep holding down shift to select more than one thing you're going to go now to effect 3d rotate and you're going to go with isometric top for this one or isometric left or right i'm going to go with top for the first one and when you're done click okay you're now going to select 
the other rows that you left behind earlier and go to effect 3d rotate and you're going to choose if you chose isometric top for the first one you're going to want to choose isometric left or right for the other rows click ok and now we're going to rebuild our shapes here so with the arrow keys you can move it and fix it okay you can click on z click and drag to zoom and then you're gonna patiently i know it's a bit tedious but it's a really cool effect you are going to put your letters back together so obviously the more um, the more rows you made earlier with your rectangle tool, the more steps you're going to have. I'm going to leave them a little crooked for now so that I can speed this up a little bit. We have our text. Now we are going to choose the top parts. Uh, depending on where the light is, usually if it, the light is coming from the top, you're going to have a lighter color than the second row that is usually darker because it has less light. So you're going to choose a darker color. Oops. This is going to be this part and this is going to be the darker. You can also change color before you do this. Now I realize maybe I should have done that, but I mean, it's basically the same thing. Okay, and you get this really cool stairs, whatever effect. I'm gonna fix it and I'll be right back with you. You really wanna be as precise as you can because the final effect will be a thousand times better if everything is exactly where it should be. Okay. <clears throat> when you're done with the first letter, you select all of it, makes it so much easier. Command G and group it. This way, you can just click and drag it everywhere you want without risking to mess up what you've spent all this time doing. Yes, if you have two of the same letter, you can basically just do it once and then duplicate it. All right, group this one as well. And let's see, we could make it look like it's actually falling and align the steps <clears throat> or we can make it look like it's all just in one line also by aligning the steps press and hold alt key click and drag why are you holding it to duplicate it you can then select all of it and resize it and that's it, you're done.